Zani, um, you know, talking about the linkage between what we're seeing in this short squeeze and the overall markets. But wow, two percent on all the major indices. You think that's what this is? Yeah, I mean, what we're seeing today is a big move and it, it got deeper in, into the afternoon here. And so I think what it is, is it's the end of the week. It's the end of the month. Investors have been looking and searching since we came into the new year for a reason to de-risk or, 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 or just, you know, see a pullback in the market. When we came into going into this week, actually, what we saw was the S&P 500 was up about 17 and a half percent since the beginning of November. So that's a big, fast move for the market. We also saw that it got a little stretched from its 200 day moving average for, on a technical perspective. And so at 15 percent off of off of its 200 day moving average, that is a far distance. And then people are of course, are starting to talk about valuations getting stretched the PEs at 23 times. Sure, that's higher than historical standards, uh, but it's not, you know, we've been in that realm for many months now. Um, so I just think that people are using this speculation as a reason to take some money off the table right now, wait for things to digest, and perhaps wait until we have more clarity about what the future of the economic recovery looks like. Because, because there is still a little bit of uncertainty with that South African virus coming into the U.S., the J&J &J news today. People are using it as a reason to take the VIX up above 35, I think we got to today. Um, and so we're back to November levels. There's just a lot of nervousness in the market right now, John. Nervousness in the market. So is it, is it two different, and, and granted, very different Things going on, you've got the, we don't know to what degree it's retail investors, but you've got some people, it started mm -hmm. off retail investors that are squeezing shorts on one side. You think it's an entirely different, you know, large cohort of people on the other side reacting to that? You know, it, it very well could be. I mean, it seems like at least the sentiment from the retail investors um, going into this week was pretty positive. They were feeling good about uh, the speculative trades that, that, that they were making that you've been talking about all week here. And so I think you got to see some of the big money on the other side to really see these bigger moves that we're seeing in some of these stocks, too. And you have to remember, too, earnings season has been very good. So because of that, it might be a reason for the big boys to, to, to de-risk and take that money off the table right now. And the retail investor might not quite understand that dynamic. Um, and they're, they're just sitting there watching these speculative stocks or these penny stocks that have, have done really well over the course of the past month. And they feel like they're in a good position, too. So I think only time is really going to tell to, to see who's, whose hands are being shaken out at this point in time. Yeah, can't, can't forget, we got a $111 billion quarter from Apple this week. Uh, above yeah. expectations on the top and bottom line, stocks down 5% for the week. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.